T3 is a new computer interface that can display large areas of small text on a table surface. Here we've used T3 to implement a novel interface for collaborative web browsing. Two collaborators are browsing a theatre website to decide which play to see. Web pages appear on the table as interactive virtual sheets of paper. Each collaborator at the table has a stylus. Pressing on a link opens a new page, and long pages can be scrolled. Search terms and URLs can be entered to open a new page. And we can also investigate novel ways of showing the structure of pages within a website. Dragging with the stylus moves pages around the table. They can be shared with others sat at the table. Pages of interest can be arranged in the green piles in the table centre. And pages can be closed by dragging to the red recycle bin. This interface might be used when browsing the web with another person to plan a holiday, to find a new house, or to shop online. Unlike a conventional computer, both collaborators can work concurrently, and each person has space at the table to carry out his or her own work. Each person can see the pages of interest arranged in the green piles, and each can stay aware of the other's actions just by glancing. In the rest of this video, we'll look at three features of the T3 system, starting with the display itself. Many tabletop interfaces create a display using a single projector. We wanted the web pages to appear about the same size as a sheet of paper, but a single projector doesn't have enough pixels to display this clearly. Instead, we use six off-the-shelf projectors to create a 4.7 megapixel display. Of course, this arrangement is too expensive and impractical to be a consumer product, but future display technologies will make large, high-resolution displays affordable and practical, perhaps built into coffee tables, desks and dining tables in homes, offices and public spaces. Using projectors at present enables us to investigate the consumer products of the future. The projectors are mounted on standard scaffolding and run from a single desktop PC fitted with dual-head graphics cards. Creating a single seamless display from the six projectors is difficult. The projector images appear keystoned, and there are overlaps and discontinuities between the images. The T3 system adjusts the displayed images to compensate for these problems, using techniques developed for large display walls. Images are warped to compensate for keystoning, so that they appear rectangular when projected onto the surface and overlapping areas are blended together to remove discontinuities and ensure smooth transitions between projectors. These image adjustments are calibrated using a short setup procedure. The result is a single seamless large display that can show text at the same size as 14 point printed text. Although the collaborator's hands cast shadows on the display, the shadows fall very close to the hand and aren't a problem in practice. Another feature of the T3 system enables researchers to create new tabletop interfaces rapidly by using existing software components from conventional computer programs. For example, when writing our web browser interface, the T3 system enabled us to use an existing web page renderer rather than develop a new one from scratch. The web browsing interface was written in only 700 lines of Java code. Here we write an example program in Java using the T3 system to create a basic collaborative tabletop spreadsheet interface. With this first line we set up the table. We then create a new movable tile of 500 by 500 pixels and add an existing Java Swing J spreadsheet component that we've downloaded from the internet. We specify how big we want the tile to appear on the table in millimeters, position it on the table and make it visible. We'll create a second tile for the second collaborator. And that's it. We can test the program using a simulator on a desktop PC. On the table, this program produces two spreadsheets. Collaborators sat at the table can arrange the spreadsheets, select rows and columns, enter numbers and edit formulae. This quick demonstration lacks many features, but it illustrates the potential to use the T3 system to investigate new tabletop interfaces for collaborative data analysis and collaborative end-user programming. 
A third feature of the T3 system shares the contents of the table with remote collaborators sat at tables in different cities or countries. This can supplement a standard video conference so that collaborators can see not only each other, but also their shared work. Here we've developed an interface that enables remote collaborators to discuss documents, for example when discussing draft reports in a remote meeting, or when holding a remote tutoring session as part of a distance learning course. The documents appear as virtual sheets of paper on the table. Remote arm shadow representations enable each collaborator to gesture and to stay aware of what the other is doing. These arm shadows are created by capturing each collaborator's arm outline using an overhead camera. Again, text is visible at the same size as 14-point printed text. The stylus can be used to annotate the pages, to view different pages, to switch to an overview of the document, and to arrange documents on the table for side-by-side -side comparison. The T3 system uses a client-server design that enables any T3 program to be shared remotely in this way, without the need to write extra lines of code. The network protocol adapts to the available bandwidth to provide responsive performance over conventional network links. We've seen three features of the T3 system. A high-resolution display allowing small text. Reuse of existing user interface components in new tabletop interfaces and easy sharing of tabletop workspaces between remote collaborators. In creating the T3 system, we aim to overcome the technical obstacles to make it easier for researchers to explore a wider range of tabletop interfaces. With this in mind, we've made the T3 software freely available for non-commercial research, along with documentation and examples. Visit the T3 website to find out more.